Welcome back guys. So, I found a little bit of an issue last time I was here at the Insight. So I was up here and I was doing stuff in here. Oh, I didn't update you guys on uh, my warm air intake. I took uh, one of the couplers that I got off my Subaru that I'm no longer using and then I got some hose and some PVC down at the hardware store and I routed it down to here which goes right to the catalytic converter so I get some hot air from there. Really improved my gas mileage so far, but now it's super cold outside and uh, it's dropping anyway. Anyway, I was down here and I saw this beauty right here. Nice big crack in my radiator along the front. It's not terribly bad, but it's to the point where I am losing fluid and I'm about to go on uh, somewhat of a road trip and I definitely need to fix this up. So there's a few things that you can do without buying a whole new one. They're not terribly expensive. Probably about a hundred bucks to get a new one in here, drop it in. I know it's super easy to do. However, I'm cheap as hell. So I looked it up and to repair this, there's some people, uh, you can buy kits that basically melts plastic over the top because this whole top piece is plastic. And then there's other people saying, hey, if you, if you don't want to spend that, then you can get zip ties. You can get zip ties on here, melt the zip ties with a soldering iron, and that fixes it. But there's something I always wanted to try. Flex Seal. I got the, the gray one because they were out of black, but I got the gray one and I'm going to use this. The reason why I picked Flex Seal is basically all what everyone does for the radiator fixes is, I mean, they use melted plastic and then the plastic hardens and Flex Seal is liquid rubber, which is close to the same thing. And if you look online, and I'm sure it says somewhere on here, this goes up to like 320 or 350 degrees before it starts to melt. And that's perfect because your radiator should never get that hot. So this should be a perfect solution. All right, so the first thing I need to do here is I need to drain the radiator so the fluid is below here, which I mean, it's not that bad since the fluid is just slightly up here. So I'm only gonna be losing a little bit. I could probably just fill this back up with water. So I need to get to the petcock valve, which is, I mean, it's a itty bitty teeny tiny radiator. So we just need to look in here there's a better view, right on my shoe. That's where it's at, and you just gotta twist that and drain it. There we go, blocked off the area, got some cardboard and stuck around. I don't really want any overspray onto any of my fins, so I'm just gonna spray it right here. I got some cardboard down here, cardboard up there. Might get some cardboard and put it down here, but hopefully I'm not that bad of a shot, which I am, so I should probably do that. All right, there we go. Got some cardboard around the area. And now I'm gonna spray Flex Seal over here. Maybe scoot that up a tiny bit so I don't get in the fins. My messiness, oh God, this that, this is not gonna work. Okay, there we go. No, yeah, no, oh, ah, oh, jeez. Oh, it's very watery, I didn't think it'd be that watery. Okay, that's uh, really watery. How is that supposed to help me out here? Oh, there we go. I just needed a, a little bit of motivation for that. Well, hopefully that dries quickly so it doesn't all just go down. Maybe a few more coats and I'll be happy. All right, so I added a little bit more on there. And if you really look into it, it's very porous. Cause when you spray it, there's a lot of bubbles and then the bubbles pop and then it just looks like that. So I'm guessing it's gonna cure like that. That's why they want you to put on more than one coat. It says in the directions. So I put on a pretty thick coat here made sure my, my cap up here is able to spin so that doesn't get stuck in place. Cleared the bottom off a little bit. But uh, 
I'm thinking that should work just fine. If it doesn't and I keep leaking, then I'm just gonna have to buy a new one. <sighs> well, now I have Flex Seal. Let's see what else I can fix with this. I'll tell you another thing I'm gonna try to fix. My stupid charger. This is a very common problem on MacBook chargers is, well, you know. So I'm gonna see if I can spray some Flex Seal on here and make this like new. Well, I got the top there all masked up with masking tape. Now I'm just gonna spray this bad boy down and see what I can get. Yummy. All right, so after letting the charging cable cure for 48 hours, it actually, uh, it feels pretty good. It's It, it feels kind of like, um, it's not as hard as I thought it was going to be. It's kind of like a, a hard version of Play-Doh. See how I can still kind of squeeze it and it can move around like that? I guess that's kind of a good thing because it is a rubber. I don't know how long it's going to last though, but it's still... It's better than what it was before. It's better than having exposed wires out on here. So this actually, so far, is working pretty well. I haven't had any issues with this. So let me check on the car. And here is the radiator. Look how porous that is. I don't know why this only happened here. It didn't happen with my charger, but it is decently hard. And uh, this is supposed to, like I said in the beginning, this is supposed to be totally fine for the temperatures that this gets up to. So all I got to do is fill it up with water and I'm good to go. All right, guys, it's been a few days and Flex Seal for the radiator has worked amazing. I haven't had any leaks. I haven't had any issues. It was just a small crack to begin with, but this stuff works it's a lot better than buying a new one. Um, until it explodes or whatever happens to it, but it's a really great fix. Also, my MacBook charger, I haven't had is any issues with it cracking or peeling or anything. It's, uh, you definitely need to give it time to cure because when you, that first day, it's supposed to cure 48 hours, but after that, that first day, it's still really malleable. You can kind of like move it around. After about 48 hours, it's more of a rubber than a Play-Doh consistency. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next video.